Alright, hi guys. Um God <laughs> I'm actually really nervous, can you tell? I've never made a video for YouTube before. Anyways, hi. My name is Callie. Um I am Starmora on Tumblr. And I've been part of the Nancy Drew fandom on there pretty much you know, since the beginning of, you know, being on Tumblr. Um, and I've noticed that you guys have been doing these, um, Clue Crew playthroughs, and I just, I really wanted to get in on that. So, today, I'm, I wanted to play, um, The Haunted Carousel, because it's one of my favorite games, but, you know, Things happen. Newer computer. Um, couldn't get the. I couldn't get it to record for some reason. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, so in the meantime, the game that I randomly chose to play today is Legend of the Crystal Skull. So let's just get right into it. Current assignment. What assignment? Bess and I are flying to New Orleans for a long weekend of fabulous music, sightseeing, and food. Okay, so I'm also going to visit Ned's friend, Henry Bolet, but only as a favor to Ned. Apparently, Henry's uncle just died, and he had to go down there for a couple of weeks. Ned says Henry's a nice guy, but kind of a loner who might appreciate a little company. So, the first thing I'll do is leave Bess at our hotel in the French Quarter and take a cab out to the mansion where Henry's staying. Ned called him and said I'd be coming. But once that's done, it'll be lazy les bon temps for les. <laughs> the only bad news is the weather's not supposed to be that great this weekend. But what's a little stormy weather when you're in the heart of the Big Easy, right? Right. This is the smallest mansion that I've ever seen in my entire life. But, anyways. Yeah, so. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so normally, even though I've been playing games... Nancy Drew games like my entire life pretty much. For some reason I always play on Junior Detective but today I think I'm going to play on Senior Detective because I feel like it would be kind of embarrassing if I were to play on Junior for my first like video publicly. Well you guys can see me watch. <laughs> I'm going to admit something right now. Um, I did record this before, but the audio sucked. And the audio is still going to be super bad because I don't have, like, an actual microphone. So, um, I do apologize for that up front. Um, <sighs> but, you know, stuff happens. This is just what I have to do Hello? if I want to be part of this. Anybody so. here? I really do love the games like this, like where um, you know, it's really dark. Like, not like story-wise, but. Hi, the door was open. <gasps> you know, like the haunted games and stuff that take place in mansions like this. Wow. Here, drink this. What? What is it? Something that'll make you feel better. Drink it. Just a couple sips. All right. Last time, the first time that I made this video, I chose no thank you. So this time, I'm going to choose okay. Uh, okay. That's it. No offense, but yuck. Don't make her drink any of your weirdo concoctions. Then I really will have to take her to the emergency room. You just go back to your phone call and leave us be. Don't pay him any mind. Where am I? You're at Henry Bollet's house, dear, in the library. He and I carried you in here after I found you unconscious in the foyer. Why is it so dark in here? The electricity went out. Lightning must have struck a transformer somewhere. What happened? Can you remember? Well... The front door was open, so I walked in, and then I saw this, well, I saw a skeleton. 
and then he saw me. And then the light started flickering, and he threw something at me that exploded. The smoke must have made me pass out. You saw a skeleton? Yes, a skeleton. I'm sure it was I saw just a skeleton. Someone, you know, wearing a costume or something. I'm Nancy Drew, by the way. I came to see Henry. So we surmised. I'm Renee Amand. I'm Bruno Bolle's housekeeper. That is, I was. This skeleton that attacked you. Perhaps we should call the police. I love the lightning going no on too. No room. No police. Things are complicated enough as it is. Henry's feeling a mite overwhelmed. Well, you are looking much better, so I'm gonna get back to my plant parton. You need anything? I'll be outside in the garden. I should call them and keep them on hold for five hours. Is that the way See, you should go? Uh, I guess. Well, I guess I'm sitting on the couch, so. Huh, I don't know. So, I've never really Nancy, thought about that. Nice to meet you. Ned sent you here to check up on me, huh? He's just worried He's about you. He's worried about you, that's all. Ned's a nice guy. I mean, I really don't know him that well, just from school. But when I mentioned that my only living relative just died, he was all like, Yeah? How you feeling, man? You doing okay? Wanna talk? Of course, I guess I do come across as a little needy sometimes. Yes, sometimes. Were you very close to your uncle? Great uncle. Great uncle Bruno, and no, I wasn't. My parents died in a car crash when I was eight. Since I had no other relatives, he took me in. Or should I say he shipped me out? Boarding school, summer camp, military school, college. <laughs> he may have looked after me, but he never spent any time with me. I didn't know him at all. Do you have the feeling that maybe Henry is a little bit bitter about that? What are you doing, if you don't mind my asking? Great Uncle Bruno named me executor of his estate, which means I have to make sure all his bills are paid and debts taken care of so his assets can be distributed. Unfortunately, he couldn't have cared less about little things like keeping records or balancing checkbooks. Dealing with his creditors and their lawyers has been an absolute nightmare. So, thanks for stopping by, Nancy. And now you can report back to Ned that I'm fine and go enjoy New Orleans. Well, that would be great, but I mean, you know, I did get attacked, so... No, I can't. Not until I know who that skeleton man was and what he was doing here and why he knocked me out like that. Look, I can understand you're not wanting to call the police, but somebody should investigate. And since playing detective is kind of a hobby with me... No offense, but are you sure you didn't just pass out from the heat and humidity or something and dream that you saw the skeleton dude? Like, I love this gradient here. I never noticed that before. I've never really paid attention to this computer. I'm positive. I'm positive. Okay, look around all you want. But I should probably warn you, Uncle Bruno was into exotic pets. Didn't believe in cages, so he gave him the run of the place. And just because he's dead, doesn't mean they are. So if you're gonna go poking around, be careful. So do you think they had a bird? Alright, so... Let's start going. Let's do our thing. Alright, so since I already did this episode, it actually took me quite a long time to do this puzzle, and I am quite embarrassed about that, if I'm going to be honest. So, hopefully I'll be able to get through it without um, making an even bigger fun of myself. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got this. Totally got this. Awesome. I am so glad you guys do not want to know how long it took me the last time. It's been a while since I played any Nancy Drew game. It's been a long time, actually. 
you know, this wait for Midnight in Salem has really... It's been a doozy. Doozy? I guess I just said doozy. Alright. Man. I wish I had one of these. Not necessarily a, a, a cemetery, but... You know, like a, a little, little, <sighs> anyways, stop being creepy for a second. So, we have three eyeballs already, I think, I think that's pretty good. So, there we go, that looks just like the, the thing over here. Um, did we look at this already? I don't know. Whatever, we'll look at it again. And there's a picture missing. Awesome. Okay, so. I am definitely making better progress than I did the first time, that's for sure. Nancy, welcome to my little lantern-lit corner of the world. Looks like you like to grow things. I do indeed. Herbs, mostly. And because I'm in constant need of them, I grow them in pots. There's nothing quite like cooking with fresh herbs, that's for sure. I don't use these herbs for cooking, darling. Did you and Henry have a nice chat? Oh. You know, she was giving us a little, like, sideways glance when she said that, so. Did I detect a little animosity saying. between you two back there? Henry's a very morose, very negative young man. Very cunning, too. In fact. I'm fairly certain that he's been selling off Dr. Bolet's belongings on the sly. On the sly. What kind, what of, belongings? kind of belongings? Just little things, odds and ends, really. But the lawyers made it very clear that no assets were to be liquidated until all of Dr. Bolet's affairs are settled. According to Dr. Bolet's will, Henry is to get 30% of the estate. Dr. Bolet's physician, Gilbert Buford, gets 30%. Our Lady of Route 57 School of Dentistry and Cosmetology gets 30%. And I am to receive 10%. Don't you think that's kind of messed up, though? Like, do you think she's bitter about that? Like, she's only getting 10%. All these other people are getting 30 I don't know. I'd be kind of pissed, to be honest. Why is there an empty frame in the gallery cooking. inside? That is a very good question. I first noticed the canvas was missing after the reception following Dr. Bolet's funeral. But as for why it was missing, I do not know. What was in that concoction you wanted me to drink after I got knocked out? Never you mind. It was just a little remedy I brewed up on the spot to help you feel better. If you don't like Henry that much, how come you're still here? I'm here because Dr. Bolet paid me in advance, and I always fulfill my obligations. Have you ever seen this before? I found it by that scale model of the cemetery that's inside the house. It's a mystery to me. I suggest you ask Henry. He leaves things lying around all the time. I guess it figures I won't notice amid all the other clutter, but I do. I notice everything. Mm. How else may I be of service to you? If you don't mind my asking, what's in that little pouch you wear around your neck? Things. Secret things. Things that give me special talents when special times demand them. People usually laugh when I say this. But this pouch is my connection to the energy that powers the universe. Oh. Oh. Mm. Well, at least you didn't laugh. Nice talking to you. One more thing. I, too, have seen the skeleton man. Oh, have you? After Dr. Bolet passed that night, I saw him in the hallway. He was there, then he was gone. 
So you best be careful, Nancy Drew. Because if it was Mr. Death, and I truly think it was, he'd come back. So, I'm just looking around here. Um, there are no other doors. Where's the bathroom? I know people always joke about that, but, like, I really have not ever paid attention. I always assumed that there was like another door or something that we couldn't go into. And there is nothing here. Gosh. Okay, that really bothers me. <laughs> How hard would it have been to like put a door here or something instead of all this? You know? At least in, like, um, Curse of Blackmore Manor, even though we couldn't go in the kitchen, we knew it was there. Wow. Alright. Wow. I guess... We can go out here. Might as well get... should keep you guys quiet for a while. So what do you think's in that if it's not like actual like bug killer? It just makes him go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Those are creepy. I've always thought so. Why can I oh right. I want to look at the I want to look at the fountain. There we go. There we go. Yeah, nope. Not happening. Okay. So. I don't know. Do we go in here? To figure out if there's anything camouflaged in that design, I'm going to need some paper. All right. Let's go do that. We'll get the paper and then that's where I will end the video. Do you by any chance have some plain paper that I could use? I most certainly do. But it's up in my room, and I'm afraid I cannot retrieve it for you until I'm finished here. You get the sudden urge to draw a picture? Something like that. I know, I'll help you. That way you'll get done faster. Gracious, you are the picture of impatience, aren't you? Well, I appreciate the offer. But here, why don't you just take this instead? It's an extra key to my room. The paper's in a drawer in my nightstand. Just go on up and help yourself. But make sure you lock the door when you leave, you hear? Right. You I trust. But Henry, him I do not. Not subtle I really at all. really appreciate this. And long as you're going up there, my appetite could use a little placating. So I would be much obliged if you would bring me a candy bar from my nightstand. And take one for yourself while you're at it. All right, you can do that. All right, let's go upstairs. Actually, you know what? I think this is where I'm going to end the video. So, yeah. Um, if 
if you guys liked it, um, I will make some more. Um, but in the meantime, you know, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you later. Bye.